Good morning, my dear students. How are you all today? I hope you're all doing very well. Today is 23rd of April, 2020, and the day is Thursday. So are you guys ready for today's lesson? That's great. So let's get started. Dear students, today in our English lesson, we will learn about the letter T. We are going to learn its formation and what sound does the letter T makes. Dear parents, the letter formation page is for you to check how to form a letter correctly. When your child writes alphabets, please make sure that the formation is correct. So your first lesson for today is tracing and writing a letter. Can you tell me what letter is this? This is letter T and it makes T sound T for tiger. T for triangle, T for truck. Now you will sing the Jolly Phonics song for the letter T. Well done children. Now let's learn how to write letter T. When you write a letter, you always start from the top. So I want you to pick up your pencils and start tracing the letter. To write letter T, we start from the top and draw a standing line going downwards. Then we will go in the middle and draw a line across the center. Good job students. Now please practice and try to write the letter T at the bottom line. My dear students, in math we are going to trace and write the numbers. Then we will count the number of objects and color the correct number. Then we will color the shapes. After that, we are going to learn how to sequence the numbers. At the end, we will have one to one correspondence with numbers. Trace and write. Dear students, in this worksheet, you are going to trace the numbers from 1 to 10. You can use pencils or any other colored pencil. Once you are done tracing the numbers, then you will practice writing the numbers in the boxes given below. How many? Dear students, in this page, you're going to count the number of objects and then color the correct answer. Now let's see the first picture. What are these? These are school bags. Now let's count how many number of school bags you can see. One, two. Yes, two school bags. So you're going to color the circle with number 2. Now let's move on to the next picture. What do you see in this picture? Yes, there are leaves. And how many leaves are there? 
Let's count. One, two, three, four. Yes, four leaves. So you're going to color the circle with number four. Similarly, you're going to count the number of objects in each picture and then color the correct answer. Color the shapes. Dear students, in this page, you can see four different shapes. A rectangle, circle, triangle, and heart. What you're going to do, you're going to find all the rectangles and color them yellow. Then you will look for all the circles and color blue. Then you will find all the triangles and color red. And then you will look for all the hearts and color pink. It's going to be a very colorful page and I would love to see this page. Dear parents, uh, the kids will need your help in order to finish this activity as it's a great activity for sequencing and number recognition. So my dear students, as you can see a picture of a construction worker with numbers from 1 to 10. So first you will cut straight on the black lines with the help of a scissor. Once you are finished cutting all the numbers, you will have 10 strips with numbers from 1 to 10. Then you will take a plain or a colored paper and start pasting the numbers in order. For example, you will start with number 1. After pasting number 1 on the sheet, you will take the strip with number 2 and paste it with number 1. And then you will take the number 3 strip and paste it and so on until you are finished with all the numbers till number 10. I hope you are going to enjoy this activity. Dear parents, to do this activity, I have attached a worksheet with picture of empty cones on it. Please help your child with cutting the cones. As you will need 10 cones, so kindly make 3 photocopies of that paper. After cutting, write numbers from 1 to 10. Then tell your child to count and put the correct number of pom-poms on top of the cones. The number of pom-poms should correspond to the number on the cone. If you don't have pom-poms, you can use buttons, marbles, circles made out of paper or anything that is available at your home. I hope kids will enjoy this activity. My dear students, before we start our story today, I have an important message to share with you. I'm sure from the past few months, you have heard a lot about this new disease called coronavirus. So I thought I shall bring an in interesting story about it. And it's called How to Defeat the Icky, Filthy, Creepy, Slimy Corona Monster. And it's written by Robert F. Daphne. So are you guys ready to listen to the story? Okay, that's great. So let's start our story. How can you defeat a clever monster that you can't see? It's so itsy bitsy tiny but can move from you to me. 
The corona monster isn't friendly. In fact, he's downright mean. With pointy little red hands and teeth so crooked and green. They say the corona monster is something we should fear. It can climb deep inside of us and the symptoms can be quite severe. A fever, cough and sneeze can be such a scary thought. The good news is we can beat the monster with something we've all been taught. Step one is such a simple thing. We do it all the time. Wash our hands with soap and water to remove all of the grime. Step two requires practice and some good and healthy manners. Don't forget to cover your cough and sneeze so we don't harm any bystanders. Step 3 may be the toughest but because it requires a little persistence. We need to create some additional space and we call it social distance. There are other things that we can do to help us stop this beast. Stay at home, don't touch your face and soon it will all decrease. The monster may seem scary now and it's true we should have concern. That's why we need to be smart and strong to ensure it won't return. Will you help me fight the corona monster by following every step? Doing so will keep you safe and send it back from where it crept. See what happens when we do our part? The monster runs away. Today might seem a little tough, but tomorrow will be okay. Now that things are calm, we can't forget our helper. The doctor, nurse and first responder that made our lives all better. It's fun to play outside again and hug our family and friends, enjoying the life we missed so much and making sure it never ends. For now, the monster hides away, hopefully never to be seen. But it's okay if he comes back because we'll defeat him as a team. And that's the end of the story. So my dear students, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the story and you are going to follow all the steps mentioned in the story to keep yourself safe and healthy. I wish you all the best and have a very nice weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.